Tell me something that's better than a productive morning. I'll go first. Productive afternoon. Especially while the kids are taking a nap. Let's have one. This is exactly why I need to be up by 5 30. Getting up just with the kids or even a few minutes before them. Me just like this. Still needing more coffee. Still in my pajamas at 11 59. That is not okay, but we're about to change all of that. I kind of messed up because I have been calling Oakley's daily vitamins candy just to get her to come and eat them. So now the girl just comes up to me talking about candy at random points throughout the day. And I'm like, girl, you took your vitamins already. But I love it. She gets excited when it's time to take her vitamins. While she was off playing, I got her lunch together. I kept it really simple because she was snacking all morning. She had apple chips, she had banana. Got her lunch together, gave that to her, wrote down my top three on the refrigerator. So tell me, has this ever happened to y'all? Has your child ever stole like a piece of jewelry, maybe your headphones, specifically your wedding ring? Yeah. Jamal's wedding ring was missing for days. It was missing so long that he actually does not have his wedding ring on in the pictures we just took. I just told him we'll explain it to the kids when they get older. To find out, Oakley had taken his wedding ring and put it in one of her shoeboxes. We're getting dressed yesterday, and guess what fell out of the shoebox? Jamal's wedding ring. It was missing for so long that I just went ahead and ordered the pack of those rubber rings on Amazon. And of course, they came the day that we found the ring. He's been asking me for some anyway, or just to get them for him on Amazon. To wear during the week to work. Okay, now let's get dressed. Why am I wearing this maternity one piece? I don't know. It's just so comfortable. It's also my signs and not wear it anymore. Never worn it, not pregnant. But there's a lot of extra material in the middle, of course, as it needs to be. So it was hard for me to keep it, keep it up. So if I'm showing a lot of cleavage at certain parts in this vlog, I am so sorry. Okay. Part of my top three for today is to make the girl some soap. Brie was not showing any signs of wanting to take a nap. So she's watching one of those sensory Mozart videos while I'm making their breast milk soap. This is super easy. I go back and forth between a cocoa butter base or a shea butter base. They were using cocoa butter. More smarter, not harder. Cut these up into the smallest size cubes you can. Adding a little bit of my body butter mix to this. But if you don't have it, you could do just a little bit of shea butter and maybe like one or two oils that really help the skin like coconut or maybe jojoba. A lot of times these bases do come with certain oils in them already like coconut, sunflower seed oil, grapeseed oil. I want to add something a little bit different. And I will say, I don't care what base you use, you only need half of it. It's going to get you six individual soap bars every time. I need to do a little bit of work. The vlog that was supposed to go up last Thursday, y'all, it's finally up. I had to clear off my SD cards and I decided to revamp my little fall vision board. Y'all, I kind of sort of brought a desk. Major goals for the end of the year. I'm getting more serious about my content, more consistent. Things are starting to fall in line and to play and mama needs a place to work because I got a gym for only $29 on Walmart. It comes this week and I can't wait to put it together with you.